by popular demand is Dr. Joel Wallach. He's published numerous books on dietary deficiencies, conducts approximately 300 lectures annually. He had $25 million of government funding as a top zoologist. Uh, he's got multiple medical degrees, but his first one uh, is as a veterinary uh, medicine. And uh, he discovered that a lot of different diseases were mineral-based or vitamin-based. Well, just like scurvy is vitamin C missing. A lot of adults have scurvy now, and the doctors won't even tell you. Uh, so we're going to be breaking that down with him and that attack. And we've got somebody who I'm a big fan of. Theo Ratliff is an American former professional basketball player who last played with the NBA's Los Angeles Lakers. Primarily a center, he was an excellent shot blocker who has led the league three times in blocks per game. Wow, uh, league leader. As of 2011, he is ranked 18th all-time in career blocks and 13th all-time in career blocks per game. Uh, Ratliff played basketball at Dolphins High School and later graduated the University of Wyoming. He is also the owner of Rome Gladiators, uh, and he is on with us. He is the maker, well, I mean, he's endorsing his, a proprietary blend for him of rebound that I take. And for people watching on PrisonPlanet.tv, uh, here, you can, I'm actually on some rebound right now. An amazing energy stamina sports drink uh, that is just off the charts. And so there it is right over there on the document cam shot. We can show people uh, the rebound FX. Uh, they've got it in different flavors uh, right there. They've got uh, what berry boost and citrus punch. I personally like the berry boost the most. Just like I like Polymers Plus that's berry. I just like berry better than citrus, but it, to each their own. And it's all available, I should add, as well at InfoWarsHealth.com. So we're also engaged in good old-fashioned capitalism here because I, I searched out the best vitamin and minerals for myself. Aaron lost 92 pounds on it, as you know, and I found longevity. And the testimonials just pour in, so they're both here to talk about that. We're going to Theo here in a moment. Uh, but let's bring up Dr. Wallach, Joel Wallach. Tell us about Theo Ratliff, and, and then we'll get his his testimony here and talk about uh, the amazing product Rebound uh, that uh, he you know basically envisioned out of the other longevity products because of uh, the response he got. Well, thank you, Alex. It's always good to be with you, first of all. And then um, Theo is a great American. He's a, a great um, a role model for young people who want to be healthy and yet play sports. And uh, Theo's career was over, I don't know, 10, 12 years ago, whatever it is. Uh, he had only 28 years old. Uh, he was playing for the Atlanta Hawks, had bone-to-bone uh, -bone arthritis in both knees. Uh, cartilage popped off his right hip, had to have it surgically um, uh, stapled back down. Uh, caught a pass during a game and actually fractured his wrist. And the orthopedic surgeons at the Atlanta Hawks refused to sign off on him and said, hey, this guy's too fragile to play professional ball. And a mutual friend introduced us, a guy by the name of Mike Glenn, who's an ESPN uh, moderator, played for the Atlanta Hawks for 10 years himself, he used to be called the Stinger, uh, introduced uh, Theo to the Longevity program. Uh, we got Theo going on the essentially what is today the uh, Healthy Start Pack uh, for his body weight. He's a, a big fella, and he's on the Healthy Start Pack plus our glucogel to rebuild his cartilage. And within 90 days, we had him rebuilt. He was able to go back and get his uh, position back. And he's been playing ever since, uh, essentially um, free of any breakdown because he's been taking not only the 90 essential nutrients regularly just to maintain himself, but also the rebound, which we designed for him. It has 100 nutrients in it to replace everything you're sweating out. Gatorade only has two, water has none. And when you sweat, Alex, you're not sweating out water, you're sweating out a soup of all the nutrients you have floating around your blood. You have a perfect diet, you're getting 90 essential nutrients, so you're sweating out 90 nutrients. Most people don't. They have anywhere from 60 to 70 nutrients floating around their blood, and they sweat them out. And then you drink Gatorade, you're only getting two replacements. And that's why people break down in their joints, they break down in their muscles, they have heart attacks, they get diabetes, and they die 25 years early. Amazing. Let's bring him up on uh, the air, Theo Ratliff, to break this down. Uh, Theo, thanks for joining us today. Oh, great to, great to be here, man. And thank you for having me on. Um, I don't know if you're Mr. Jones or Alex or what you prefer to Oh, be sir, called. please call me. Please call me Alex. I'll call you Theo. Yes, it, it, it's a great opportunity to be on your show. And always my man, Dr. Wallach, always, always putting out that knowledge and letting people know what the real deal is as far as with these minerals and their health. 
Describe what happened to you. I mean, uh, he just encapsulated it, but take your time. I, I mean, because I was reading in sports medicine until recently, they never even really discussed that you need a full spectrum of vitamins and minerals. And then, of course, you guys sweat more than anybody in probably any other sport. I, I mean, because it's so aerobic. Uh, break down your story. Well, I mean, um, I've been a guy that always took care of his body, you know, when I was younger, um, got proper rest, ate proper foods, did all the right things. and Probably my, it was my second year in the league, going into my third year. Um, I banged knees with somebody, ended up having to go through a microfracture surgery. Play, I had to play the year throughout with a microfracture surgery. And, you know, when you get the microfracture, you know, you get a lot of swelling, a constant swelling, even after you're done, even after, even after you have the surgery. So I was going through constant swelling, was able to play through it, um, Lo and behold, ended up going to Philadelphia, playing with Philadelphia, starting really making a name for myself, um, leading the leagues in blocks, and um, just playing well. You know, body was still kind of breaking down at the same time, but I was able to fight through it. But um, lo and behold, about my fourth year, fifth year in the league in 2001, um, I ended up being, you know, one of the top defensive guys in the league at the time. Uh, I think we had the best record in the league at the time before the All-Star break and probably two, three games before the All-Star game, I went up to block the shot on, uh, I think it was Dirk, Dirk Nowitzki in Dallas, and I came down on my wrist trying to just catch myself, a routine end up uh, fracturing my wrist. So wasn't able to play. You know, one of the top centers in the league at the time. So during that time, we have what we call a trade deadline. So because I wasn't able to play and wasn't able to perform at that time, I ended up getting traded for the Kimbe Mutombo from Atlanta to Philly, and I ended up going to Atlanta. So then play the rest of the year, just rehab, heal my hand back. And then during the summertime, after I was healthy and everything, I just went up. It, this couldn't have been no more than two or three days when I started playing again. I just went up and jumped for a routine ball, and I ended up tearing the leg room in my hip. So I had to set out again. So it went through surgery, went through that surgery, um, tried to get the body back together, but it just wasn't working out. I thought after six years, it looked like I was heading for retirement. So, lo and behold, I heard Mike Glenn, who's our commentator, which Dr. Wallach said, um, was speaking to another gentleman on the team about minerals and mineral deficiencies and, and uh, calcium and different things of that nature and talking about the different diseases. And I was like, man, is that what's been going on with me? So I pulled him over to the side and I told him, look, man, you got to break these minerals down to me break this thing down because I know I've done everything possible to try to stay in this league and, and build my body up and do all the right things. But my body's just breaking down on me. It's like my bones are getting brittle. So he sat me down along with a guy named Phil Oliver, and they explained to me about the calcium deficiency, the different disease you can get from calcium. But one of the biggest things that they told me about was athletes don't live long. I mean, after when athletes die, when athletes finish playing, they have an average lifespan of probably 55. Look at and, Will Chamberlain. Look at all these guys. Right. And you and you see it just from how guys pass away, you know, constantly and, um, throughout the retired ranks. So, they, and they kind of explained to me about you, you're losing your minerals. You know, you've been doing it all your life. You, you don't know it. All you do is taste the salt and the minerals because that's what you're familiar with, but at the same time, you're losing 90 different minerals that are coming out your body as you sweat. And I was amazed, you know, when they was telling me this. I'm like, man, could this be the, be what the situation is? And then Dr. Wilder explained to me about growing cartilage back, and I'm telling him about my knees, my knees swelling up every time I run, and the hip and all this stuff. And, you know, it was it was to the point where, you know, I was always a great listener, but when they started saying the things that they were saying, me being from Alabama and thinking about a lot of the old remedies that grandma used to use, it made sense to me. 
Well, yeah, Grandma used to grind up bone to put it in the bread, and Grandma used to, uh, you know, tell people they needed to eat clay and things. And, I mean, you see the deer out doing it. I mean, I was watching a show last night. It showed elephants sticking their trunks way down into the mud to get minerals. I mean, animals know this. Why, why have we forgotten this? Right, right, right. So when he, when he told me about the, the, uh, the gelatin and being able to recreate cartilage and build your body back with the minerals and different things of that nature, I got on it diligently. I did not stop taking it. I still, to this day, I wake up and I take my minerals every single day, you know, like clockwork. You know, and he, once they explain to me, it's like food. It's not a matter, of, a matter of what you consume as far as the amount, but it's because it's like food. It's natural and it's, it's a plant-derived mineral, so it absorbs in your body, you know, 100%. And, and when you hear something like that, you kind of throw up a red flag but as you do your research and you learn about plants and, and how how they work and how they function in your body, you, you, you tend to understand. So I got on the program diligently and was just all out with the program and was able to build my body back and went on to lead the league in blocks that year, was up for defensive player of the year at the same time for the next two years and, you know, went on to, to Portland transferred to Portland and was able to sign a, a big contract. And and during that time, because I was so diligent on the program, they created this rebound FX to keep me sustained throughout the game as far as with the energy, you know, that I need when guys are, 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 are dying in that fourth quarter and they see my motor is still up at 100%, it gave me an advantage. So, you know, this product has been great for me. So especially formulated off what they thought you would need for long distance stamina. Now, now break down, because I've seen you on the news talk about this. What started happening is everything was starting to degenerate, breaking under this whole life of stress and intense sports as you were depleting your minerals and vitamins and things were starting to break down. I mean, how fast did you see a response when you started taking basically uh, the uh, healthy start pack and the uh, uh, glycogel and other things. I mean, what was the response you saw, Theo? For one, it's like a shock to the system because you're getting something that you your body been craving your whole life. So once you once you start taking it, you, you get energized, you get rejuvenated. Your, 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 it's like a whole light bulb goes off. Well, that's my problem is I've gotten more aggressive, actually. I've got to be honest. Uh, you know, the side effect of taking all these vitamins and minerals is I was, I feel aggressive like when I was 20. <laughs> right, right. You feel young, energetic. Muscles get strong, everything. So, so it, it's, you know, that, that said, you know, when, when it, when it's, when I first started taking it, you know, within a month, I felt, I felt my body being different. Um, you know, it takes a lot longer because I had the injuries already pre-existing stuff. So, as I continued to take and was able to do a little bit more and started not to seeing that swelling in the knees and in the joints and, and not having the ice down and doing all this different stuff, then it was like, okay, I'm getting back to myself. I'm getting back to that 25, 20 year old, you know, uh, Theo rally where I can, I can jump and do all the things that I need to do out on the floor comfortably, you know? So, so nothing like, less than miraculous. And, so, I mean, you do, I mean, in your own words, you uh, basically owe it to longevity, you've said, and discovering this, you got how many more years in the league? 11? Oh, man, it was, yeah, it was, it was at least uh, 10. <laughs> at wow. Least. So, so like, I, I, I try to tell guys all the time and try to introduce them to the product um, that, you know, you need to, you need to learn what, what's, what, what you're depleting out of your body. You know, everybody wants to go to the to the drugs and, and and doing the surgery and different stuff like that. But you're not if you're not attacking what's causing the problems, then I mean you're defeating the purpose. Exactly, of breast cancer is exploding. It's always find the cure. How about we find out why it's exploding? Uh, you know, same thing with sports. Why do so many marathon runners end up having heart attacks later? Well, it turns out they've depleted all their minerals. Uh, as Doc Wallach was saying, Gatorade and the stuff they push has got like two or three uh, minerals in it. This has got, you know, 90, the mighty 90 minerals uh, right. and vitamins. It's just incredible. The entire longevity line. Folks can go to InfoWarsHealth.com to find out more, or they can also go Rebound for Energy.
dot com to learn about that product specifically and then go get discounts and free shipping if you sign up as a distributor and get auto ship at infowarshealth.com or infowarsteam.com theo this is such an amazing story because i only promote what i believe in and i started you know uh, sure about two years ago everybody's telling me this is great and, right. and I, I've never been a vitamin or mineral taker. I'd gotten like 70 pounds overweight. That's embarrassing to say. Talk radio. I hadn't worked out in years. I turned in, and I've lost 40-something pounds. Aaron Dykes, and it's not even advertised as weight loss. It's just you're always hungry because there's no minerals or vitamins in it. As soon as Aaron got on this stuff, he lost 92 pounds. Uh, in fact, guys, you can go show that video on screen while folks are watching. Uh, or, 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 or go to InfoWarsHealth.com, folks. You can see the full Aaron video. But, I mean, it is miraculous how you're not as hungry anymore once you drink things like Beyond Tangy Tangerine or Rebound. It's incredible. Yeah, yeah, it is. I mean, like I say, all of them are, are great products. And, you know, I love, the, I love to hear the stories. I love to hear people talk to me about, you know, them being on cancer and, and taking the chemo. And energy is just bad. And the only thing that, that can help them to be able to get up and move is drinking that rebound. I mean, I love to hear stories like that. Well, well uh, tell us, I mean, how many of the other NBA people have you turned on to this? I mean, are, are they getting similar results? Um, I, I've turned guys on. I, I've turned a lot of guys on to it. You know, it, it's a matter of being a diligent student. <laughs> I mean, oh, yeah, I was selling it and didn't really get on it for about a year. Right, right, <laughs> I mean, right. I believed in it and saw results. Okay, here's a you know great thing. But I did when I really started seeing... I mean, incredible results. I mean, it really is amazing. Yeah, just say the, the ones that that used it were very impl impressed on how much energy and how it helped them sustain their energy and and the product itself. Just you know how healthy the product was as far as the amount of uh, minerals and vitamins that it has within the product. And it was a natural product. Um, they were very impressed with that. And also, you know, the guys that used it also had pretty long careers where they were pretty much in bad shapes too. Cause most of the time people don't really turn to this until it's a do or die situation. What about the nutritionist? I mean, I notice now Theo, when I go to like Whole Foods or Central Market, the big nicer uh, 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 grocery stores, suddenly there's other products kind of touting the same thing, but I notice they don't have the Mighty 90 like Doc Wallace products and Rebound and others have it. And, and, I mean, you know, the original now being copied, but still the best. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Wow. What does your wife think of this? I mean, if it gave you 10 more years in the NBA, that's a lot of moolah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. She, she loving it. She, 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 enjoy, she enjoying the benefits. <laughs> Wow, it's amazing. Well, I tell you, um, I take rebound before I go into the gym, and my only issue is I'm already pretty wound up, and when you get all the things that are in this, it just, I mean, just absolutely turbocharges you. Uh, but I, I particularly like the liquid version. What's your favorite, the powder or the liquid? Yeah, I, li I like the powder. I like the, I like the citrus punch because, especially where, while I was playing, because I'm, I'm moving around, so I got used to doing the powder a lot lot easier you know to carry and not have to worry about spilling oh yeah it's smaller and yeah. that's a good point and they, have, and they have the packs the small individual packs. absolutely theo ratliff is our guest theo ratliff and i'm not even somebody that has time over the years to watch sports but even i know who he is <laughs> one of the top blockers in uh, nba history star at the los angeles lakers the list goes on and on he also is the owner of the rome gladiators and he also has a degree in communications from the University of Wyoming. And they developed the proprietary rebound because he was such a fan of longevity and chalks up 10 more years in the league to it. Now, we have Dr. Wallach. And in between Theo getting all excited, me getting excited, the doc sitting over there. But, folks, you know, I, I mean, I, I only get excited about stuff I'm excited about. I sound like a carnival barker here. And, and I, that's not the best way to pitch something. But I am here promoting this because it really does work. I, I mean, People that have Alzheimer's, we've seen go on this and get their memory back, like Ted Anderson's dad, and then the doctor says, go off of it, you're not allowed to have vitamin K or leafy vegetables, and his dad has his skin just rotting off with scurvy, basically. And Ted wants the story told. The doctor told his 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 his, his wife, Ted's dad, uh, you know, hey, don't let him have this, don't let him have Beyond Tangy Tangerine stuff. So he didn't, and now he doesn't know who he is again. I mean, I hate to use that, but it's the truth. I mean... The, the, the medical, Dr. Wallach, how many of the medical doctors know this? 
and how many are just compartmentalized idiots? We know Big Pharma knows it. Well, you're exactly right, Alex. Um, the crime is that all the medical doctors know this, but they're profit-driven, and there's no law requiring a doctor to cure you, and there's a cure available. And so they choose to manage symptoms. For instance, when you have uh, diabetes, if they were to make you an ex-diabetic to cure you, and, and they can do this, oh, say in four weeks, you're able to wean off your medication, go back to normal life, be an ex-diabetic in four weeks, the doctor will make $300 in office calls. But if he manages your diabetes for 25 years, he'll make $750,000. So they always go for the management of the disease rather than just getting rid of it. There's no money in it for getting rid of it. And they're a, a protected monopoly. They have absolutely no competitors. Uh, the government protects them. I want to talk and, about this more when we come back, but sure. this is a short segment, long segment coming up. I mean, you've known Theo a lot longer than I have. I've just seen him on TV and I'm talking to him here for the first time. Uh, what should I be asking Theo right now? Or Theo, jump in here because I'll run over you. <laughs> <laughs> well, basically, we need to be asking Theo um, the, the reason why these other athletes didn't pick up on it, because the average lifespan, when you take all professional athletes, is 62. Professional football players, the average lifespan is 51. It was just a recent study, 51. It's absolutely tragic because they're all dying early because they're sweating out their nutrients and not replacing them. Yeah, Theo, I mean, uh, people are really dumb. When people even I know, I mean, I know this works. And they're like, oh, I don't need vitamins and minerals. <laughs> right. I mean, it's it's just a hard, a hard, hard sell. It shouldn't be hard, but it's hard. I, I think a lot of it is due to a lot of the other products that don't do what it says it is supposed to do, um, and and not. I mean, the, the 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 products that are not the quality of a longevity. Um, I think has a lot to do with it, and and I think a lot of it just has to do with people. People are going to listen to whatever their doctors tell them to do. No, no, that's it. The, the, the MDs are God. Right. I mean, Ted Anderson's told the story. His dad didn't know who he was. His dad in six months came back. With, right. I mean, knew who he was. The, 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 the wounds were healing. What are those wounds that, that the old people get? I mean, isn't that pretty much scurvy, Dr. Wallach? Uh, it certainly could be scurvy. It could be circulation problems. Uh, it could be actually um, gluten intolerance where they eat too much wheat, barley, rye, and oats, and their skin will actually dry up and get ulcerated, and they get eczema and dermatitis. And so there's multiple causes of that. But if you straighten up your diet, you take the 90 essential nutrients, that all goes away. All right, we'll stay there. We're going to come back, and I'm going to hand it over to you, Doc, because I know you've got the questions for Theo. You guys have known each other for 11 years. I want to talk about this when we come back. Amazing to have Theo Ratliff. Uh, just retired, got an extra 10 years thanks to longevity. Amazing. Everything we said came true. Everything we've done has been right. Well, he just retired. He got an extra 10 years thanks to finding the secret of full spectrum vitamins and minerals and trace elements. Theo Ratliff, even a sports moron like me who doesn't even hardly follow it because I'm always focused on researching the New World Order, knows what Theo Ratliff is. He's an American former professional basketball player, just retired, who last played with the NBA's Los Angeles Lakers, and he's listed as one of the all-time greatest blockers, amongst other things. Uh, his amazing websites are futurephenom.com and reboundforenergy.com. We have those linked at infowarshealth.com. And he joins us right now. He also owns the Rome Gladiators, and he's on with us with Dr. Wallach. Dr. Wallach, I want to ask you this question. Why is exercise without supplementation suicide, in your words? And then I want you for the uh, remaining 20 minutes we have left with Theo here to take it away with, uh, you know, I want you to interview him just because I know you guys have known each other for so long and I know how much Theo, uh, you know, admires the work you've done. So do I. When people realize you're the guy that's beaten the uh, Food and Drug Administration repeatedly in court or we'd have Codex Alimentarius here banning us having access to vitamin and minerals. I mean, it, it just, I don't people realize who we're on the air with right now and just how much you've done for liberty, buddy, because I'm all about liberty and this health issue is something we can take control of. The system wants us sick. That's what MD Rockefeller Medicine is all about. Well, thank you for the kind words, Alec. Really appreciate that. And you're certainly right. You're, you're my hero because you're on the people that need to be watched, and we appreciate that. Well, we did actually make a CD uh, based on Theo's story. It's called Dead Athletes Don't Lie. 
And this goes on to the statement you uh, mentioned, uh, exercise without supplementation is suicide. Now that's because you do sweat out nutrients in great amounts when you sweat, whether you're exercising, you're a roofer, you're working in a steel factory, you're digging trenches, throwing bales of hay. If you're sweating, you're sweating out whatever nutrients you have floating around in your blood. If you have 90 essential nutrients, which most people don't unless they're suppling with longevity products, uh, you're sweating out 90 essential nutrients, not just water. If you are only uh, consuming, say, 70 nutrients, you're sweating out all 70 nutrients, you're drinking water, your nutrient um, levels go down. If you're drinking Gatorade, you're 88 short. If you're drinking Rebound, you're getting all 100 uh, nutrients in, in Rebound, including all the essential nutrients you need. And so it's imperative, if you're gonna sweat, you have to supplement properly and Rebound is part of the system to replace not only the fluid you're losing, but also the nutrients. We have Olympic athletes, uh, Delisha Le Jones, uh, who Theo knows very well, great lady, a basketball player. Uh, she has uh, won four gold medals in Olympics. She's been with us for 12 years, even a, a year before um, we started with Theo. Um, and she attributes her four gold medals to the um, Healthy Start packs, the extra glucogel to support and promote maintenance repair of her uh, joints, ligaments, tendons, connective tissue, cartilage. And also she loves the rebound. And I think she kind of likes looking at Theo's picture, too. She's a great lady. <laughs> well, listen to this. I want to break this down for Theo because I got one question. I kind of interrupted him when he brought this up, and I want you to ask some quick questions and spend some time with Theo while we've got him here. Theo, you started getting into your grandmother, and, you know, f folks in the old days n knew that you needed minerals. Uh, veterinarians like Dot Wallach, I mean, I I've worked for a large animal vet. It's all about minerals. That's what, you know, uh, mineral feeds, mineral blocks. But, I mean, what were you trying to say about your grandma, and that's why this stuff made sense? to you well i mean just from from back in the day um dr wallach always tell a great story about you know how he got into the minerals on the farm with with his with his um with his father and and, and being on the farm and raising the cattle and different things of that nature and using the minerals and back in the day you know um my grandmother when we got sick or, or certain things happened colivore was always our remedy which is, you know, vitamin E, <laughs> you know, so, so uh, that was, that was always a big thing. And then, you know, we, I'm from a town called Demopolis, Alabama. So we had the, the clay, you know, the, the clay was a big thing. See, but, I didn't even know you were going to say that, but, but, but I said clay because folks in East Texas know eat the certain clay because it's got the minerals in it. Right, right, right. And just, just different things that uh, of that nature. And, you know, back then I was, our ground was so rich in nutrients at the time, growing growing stuff in the garden and different things of that nature. So um, it made sense, you know, when, when he started talking about the plant-derived minerals and the absorption in your body. It's a natural state. It's well, it's the funny that the old-timers knew all this because when my dad was sick as a kid, his nanny would try to give him clay and he'd eat it. And at first, my grandma was like, hey, that's not good, but he would actually get better when she gave him that and other things. And right. it turns out she knew what she was doing. Yeah. Yeah. It's funny how it works like that. <laughs> they it's, know what they're talking about. Dr. Wallach, what's in the clay versus what's in, uh, I mean, that's the plant-derived minerals, isn't it? Well, the plant-derived minerals are actually a compost. It's actually plants, a clay or, or mineral silt from uh, fine particles off of rocks. And you're both getting close to the story. And uh, if I may, I'll ask both of you this question. What did your grandma and grandpa do with the wood ashes from their wood stove every morning? Where did they go? It went in the garden. In the, in the garden. In the garden, exactly. Well, wood ashes are not really ashes. Wood ashes are the minerals that are left when you burn wood for fuel. And you put these wood ashes, a.k.a. plant minerals, into the garden, the squash and the sweet potatoes and the onions and the pumpkins and the corn and tomatoes and beans and peas would suck up those minerals. You ate those vegetables and grains, and you got your minerals in that fashion. Well, at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, Monday, September 4, 1882, Thomas Edison pulled the switch on the first commercial electric generating plant on Pearl Street in New York City. And five years later, just about everybody had an electric stove or propane stove or a... Uh, natural gas stove, and, and where did you get your minerals? Well, nobody was putting wood ashes into the garden anymore. We began to break down, and that's where the, the problem came. And, of course, when Theo moved away from the farm, living with Grandma, 
and uh, your great grandma and his mom, uh, he didn't have access to foods grown and all those uh, minerals from the wood ashes going into the garden every day. He came to the cities where the universities were, and they got food grown from the big farms where they had chemical fertilizer rather than wood ashes. With two, with two minerals in it. That, exact, two or three. Plants only need three. Human beings need 60. So if you're eating a pretty good slice of organically grown multigrain bread, baked with love by the pastor's wife in church on Sunday, you're 57 short. And then you've got the trace elements. How important are... Well, uh, you asked the questions. Theo's sitting here, and we're, we're yeah. ranting and raving, okay. Doc. We can do that any day. <laughs> Theo, are there points you want to make? Well, the trace elements, Theo's very familiar with them. Uh, the sudden deaths that occur in famous athletes uh, like Reggie Lewis died of a cardiomyopathy, a heart attack. Um, these kind, and of course, these kids, there's somewhere around 75,000, 100,000 young Americans under the age of 30 drop dead suddenly each year while they're exercising because they sweat out a particular trace element called selenium. A selenium deficiency alone causes hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, heart disease, which is the most common cause of sudden death. That I happened have. when I was eight years old playing football. Uh, the uh, star running back just fell over dead of a heart attack, and they did the autopsy. He didn't have any heart defects, and they said, we don't know why he died. Well, he died of a selenium deficiency, and the reason why they say he, they don't know, uh, every medical examiner should take a, a course in um, a chemical nutritional deficiencies that cause sudden death. They don't know anything about that, and as a result, this problem is perpetuated. Now, I actually went to China and did 1,200 autopsies on kids under the age of 10 in Qishan province in China that died of this cardiomyopathy heart disease. It's published in an international it's journal. It's amazing. Theo, Theo, give us your take on the trace uh, uh, minerals. Not to cut you off, Doc. Um, yeah, a lot of the guys um, in the league tend to have heart issues after they're done. And, you know, from being a part of longevity and, and speaking with Dr. Wallach and speaking to some of the professionals on the selenium, um, you know, if you're taking the selenium, then those things go away. Not And like I said, when you're playing, you're sweating out your nutrients, you're sweating out your minerals, you're breaking down your calcium in your body. So you have so many different diseases and so many different things that um, – mental deficiencies uh, create diseases from that if you don't put it in, then everything starts to break out. But it, if it the doctors see, tell you, they won't get to shop you up and make money. Right. It, it pains me to see some of these retired guys that I see now, you know, being retired, I see a lot more of the guys and their bodies are broken down and, and, and need replacements, hip replacements, shoulder. I mean, it, it goes it, it goes on and on and on. And as they continue to put those chemicals in their body, they steady breaking breaking down their insides and everything else through all the drugs and different stuff that they have to take. And I try to explain to a lot of the guys that you got to get your body get it get it back healthy with putting the proper minerals that can the plant derived minerals from the longevity to be able to build your body back. And it can happen even no matter what age you are, it can still happen for you. It's been miraculous. My mother's run triathlons for a long time and she just hit a wall. And now she says it's like 15 years ago. She lost weight, her muscles got soft again. Uh, I mean, she, my mother is not a media person and she's ready to go on air and talk about what, uh, what longevity's done for her. It's that powerful. <laughs> That's beautiful. That's a beautiful thing. Man. But like you said, Theo, it's frustrating when people've heard all these other fake claims, then they think everything's bull, I guess. Right, right. And and, and I think that's that's what you're fighting. Besides just the doctors and the medicine, you know, them masking pain, you know, giving it the steroids and different things, shooting, that, shooting people up all the time, letting it go away for a couple of weeks, and then it comes back on them, and then they got to do it again. I mean, that that's a big issue. It is. So they, again, folks, notice they never want to find the, why we're all getting autism or neurological disorders or cancer exploding or diabetes. It's always, let's find a cure. Let's find a cure. It's like, it's like not asking why people are getting shot in the head. Let's find a cure to being shot in the head. No, let's find out why so many people are getting shot in the head. Theo, uh, we're going to let you go here at the break. I'm going to come back with a few minutes just with Wallach because I know he's chomping at the bit to talk about things, but... 
I've been asking a lot of questions. What else would you like to tell people about longevity, about rebound, uh, about how big a deal it is? Because if I, I mean, people know me. I don't just sit here and harp and harp and harp on things that I'm pitching. Sure, we make money out of this, but I make money out of things I believe in that fight the tyranny, fight the corrupt medical system. I sleep really good at night promoting this, and as, that's why it's getting so big. I mean, longevity overall is up 30% just from me promoting it in the last year because people are really having the effect. It's not just hype. No, it, it's it, it's real. Well, uh, well, I just want to say that we appreciate you. We appreciate what you do and, and what you've done, you know, for longevity and for the rebound product has been been great getting the word out to people about this great product. And, um, you know, we just want you to keep on keep on doing your thing and keep letting people know, open, opening people's eyes up to what's really going on as far as out there with their health. And um, I also wanted to say that the kids, I mean, I, I do a lot of things with kids. I have an activity center back home, uh, Theo, Theo Ratliff Foundation back home. I have an activity center, work with a lot of kids. And I always do a camp of like 300 or so kids each year for free for the kids, and I bring this product, and the kids love it, you know, and it is in my activity center. They love it. My kids love it. I don't let them do sports or play anything or do anything without taking minerals, you know, and that's that's the key. If you get them early, my five-year-olds, they love it. When they see me drink, hey, Daddy, I need some of that rebound. Give me some of that rebound. <laughs> you know, and and they, they already think they are. Uh, uh, LeBron James and D Wade, so, so so they they're they're taking it. They take the kids kids toddy, um, and, and take those take those products that are made for kids also. So, um, it's something that once you start them early and it becomes their routine and they know about health and they know why they're taking it, it it just becomes like clockwork. You know, it it, be, it becomes easy as just picking up a pencil and writing, writing every day. So um, I always want to want to want to let that out there is that you know it's definitely a big thing that starts with the kids, and we always want to bring the kids into something that's going to make them great, not just physically but also mentally at the same time. Well, I was about to say I felt major mental changes once I got on this. More energy, better thought processes. Um, yes. more aggressive because I've always been an aggressive person. I mean, did you see any mental changes once you got on Longevity? Oh, yes, definitely. I mean, you know, like with, with us, you know, one of the things that um, a major thing with, with mineral deficiency is with the athlete is sleeping. You know, if I sit and I try to read a book or try to read, read my emails or something, I end up falling asleep, you know, back you know, back when I first, before I got on the product. But now that I've been on the product, I can sit down, I can concentrate. I sit down and read a book. I was about to say, that's a side effect, even though beyond, a good one. Even though Beyond Tangy Tangerine has no green tea extract, no stimulant, my mother and I, we've all noticed, if you take it at night, you're hungry at 10, you drink it, you're not hungry anymore. Problem is, you're not going to sleep. You're going to be very active. <laughs> yeah, because, because drugs wish that they were food. They wish they were minerals and vitamins. Drugs try to, uh, it's just amazing. It's amazing that the system knows this. Big Pharma's out of business if this word gets out there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It, it, like I say, it, it's a great thing, but it a lot more healthier people. That's the whole goal. Well, we're getting the word out to a lot of professional athletes right now. They need to all try Rebound. And uh, you know what, athletes, if you try and it doesn't have an effect, you can call in. We don't screen the calls and tell me I'm a liar. But I know that's not going to happen because Longevity has developed the formula. They are the trailblazers. Wow, well, one of the top uh, people in the NBA. Theo, I'm sorry, go ahead, sir. I said keep, keep on losing that work. All right, God bless you. Theo, thank you so much.